Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will learn how to represent addition and subtraction of rational numbers on a horizontal and vertical number line. Now we know that on a number line, we have positive numbers on the right side of 0 and negative numbers on the left side of 0. So a number line consists of positive numbers, negative numbers and 0. Now to show addition and subtraction on a number line, we always start from 0. Now if A and B are any two numbers, then we have four type of expressions. First is A plus B. Second is A plus of minus B. Third is minus A plus B. And fourth one is minus A plus of minus B. Now we will show each one of them on a number line. First of all, let us show the expression A plus B on a number line. For this, consider this example in which we have to find 2 plus 3 on a number line. Now we can also write it as plus 2 the whole plus of plus 3. Now here, plus 2 and plus 3 both are positive numbers and we have to add two positive numbers. First of all, let us plot the point plus 2 on a number line. Now we know that on right side of 0 we have positive numbers. So we will start from 0 and for locating the point plus 2 we will move 2 units to the right of 0 and we will reach the point plus 2 and then we will have to add plus 3 which is again a positive number. So again we will move 3 units to the right of plus 2 and we will reach to the point plus 5 Therefore, plus 2 plus of plus 3 is equal to plus 5. So this is equal to plus 5 or you can write 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Now let us see one more example in which we have to find 1.4 plus 1.5 using a number line. Now again 1.4 and 1.5 both are positive numbers. So we will start from 0 and since 1.4 is positive so move 1.4 units to the right of 0 and we will reach to this point that is the point 1.4 then we have to add 1.5 to 1.4. So we will move 1.5 units to the right of 1.4. Now moving 1.5 units to the right of 1.4, we will reach at this point, which is the point 2.9. So 1.4 plus 1.5 is equal to 2.9. Now let us show the second expression on a number line. For this, consider an example in which we have to find 2 by 3 plus of minus 5 by 3 on a number line. We can also write it as plus 2 by 3 plus of minus 5 by 3 
Now here, 2 by 3 is positive and 5 by 3 is negative and we have to add these two fractions. Now these two are like fractions, that is the fractions with same denominators. Now here the denominator is 3. So we have drawn a number line in which we have divided each unit in three parts. Now here each part is of length 1 by 3. First of all we will plot the fraction plus 2 by 3 on a number line. Now 2 by 3 is positive. So starting from 0 we will move 2 by 3 units to the right of 0 and we will reach at this point. Now we have to add minus 5 by 3 to the fraction 2 by 3. Now minus 5 by 3 is a negative fraction. This means we have to move 5 by 3 units to the left of 2 by 3. Now here each part is of length 1 by 3. So to move 5 by 3 units to the left of 2 by 3, we will move 5 parts to the left of 2 by 3, that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And we have reached at this point. So 2 by 3 minus 5 by 3 is equal to minus 1. Also we can verify this. Now 2 upon 3 plus of minus 5 upon 3 is equal to 2 plus of minus 5 whole upon 3 which is equal to 2 minus 5 whole upon 3 which is equal to minus 3 upon 3 which is equal to minus 1. Hence it is verified. Also we can find 1.4 plus of minus 0 0.8 using a number line. Now here we will start from 0 and since 1.4 is positive so we will move 1.4 units to the right of 0 and we will reach at this point. So we have reached at this point. Now we have to add minus 0 0.8 to 1.4. Now minus 0 0.8 is negative. This means we have to move 0 0.8 units to the left of 1.4. So we will reach at this point when we move 0 0.8 units to the left of 1.4 as here each part is of length 0 0.2. So 1.4 plus of minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.6. Now let us show the third type of expression on the number line. For this consider the example in which we have to find minus 3 by 8 plus 7 by 8 using a number line. Now, for this we have drawn a number line in which we have divided each unit into eight parts and here the length of each part is 1 by 8. Now here we have minus 3 by 8 which is a negative fraction. So we move to the left of 0 and we will reach to this point which is minus 3 by 8. Now we have to add 7 by 8 to minus 3 by 8. Now 7 by 8 is a positive fraction. So we will move 7 by 8 units to the right of minus 3 by 8. 
and we will reach at this point which is 4 by 8. So minus 3 by 8 plus 7 by 8 is equal to 4 by 8. Also you can verify this. Now minus 3 by 8 plus 7 by 8 is equal to minus 3 plus 7 whole upon 8 which is equal to 4 upon 8. Now let us show the fourth type of expression on a number line. For this, consider the example in which we have to find minus 2 by 3 plus of minus 5 by 3 by using a number line. Now these are like fractions with denominator 3. So we have drawn a number line in which we have divided each unit into three parts. Now minus 2 by 3 is a negative fraction. So we will start from 0 and we will move 2 by 3 units to the left of 0 and we will reach at this point and then minus 5 by 3 is again negative and we have to add minus 5 by 3 to minus 2 by 3 so we will move 5 by 3 units to the left of minus 2 by 3 and we have reached at the point minus 7 by 3. So minus 2 by 3 plus of minus 5 by 3 is equal to minus 7 by 3. Also on solving we get the sum equal to minus 7 by 3. Now consider one more example. Now here First of all we have to plot 1 by 2. So we will move 1 by 2 units to the right of 0 and we will reach at this point. Now we have to add minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2. Now minus 1 by 2 is negative. So we will move 1 by 2 units to the left of 1 by 2. And we will reach at this point, which is the point 0. So the answer of this is 0. Now using this vertical number line, let us solve the given example. In this it is given, two stones are thrown vertically upwards. One reaches the height 1.2 feet and the other stone reaches the height 0 0.6 feet than the previous stone. What is the height of second stone? Now here you can see that the numbers above 0 are positive and numbers below 0 are negative. Now it is given that the first stone reaches the height of 1.2 feet that is from 0 it will reach at this point and the second stone reaches the height 0 0.6 feet than the previous stone. It means we have to add 0 0.6 to 1.2. So we will move 0 0.6 units upwards from 1.2 and we will reach at this point so we have reached at this point which is the point 1.8 it means the second stone reached the height of 1.8 feet so in this way we have solved the given example using the vertical number line in the same manner we can subtract two rational numbers using a vertical number line. So in this session you have learned how to represent addition and subtraction of rational numbers on a horizontal and vertical number line. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.